Well, hello, everybody. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom and Food with the keto lifestyle that my old metabolism and body are doing on a daily basis and just love. That's how it is. Do you have your cuppa? This was <laughs> Wicked Joe's Sumatra. It's an organic ground coffee from someplace in Maine, and I do like it. My favorite is French, and so I have that every morning and try to figure it out, and then I have Jot, this fancy-dancy, um, highly caffeinated coffee that um, somebody here gave me as a gift. It's delicious, and I have it when I can relax at the end of my day. It, it probably is like a Manhattan with two cherries. I don't know. But it's what I, I do when I close out my day with mileage and earnings and all that kind of stuff. And so I love it. So this was Wicked Joe's Sumatra. And I like my coffee strong and black. And um, getting to black took a while, as many of you know. And so I'm always um, encouraging those of you that still like a little something, something in your coffee, that if you're struggling with a plateau on your scale and things just aren't moving like they used to or not at all like they used to, um, that the clean intermittent fasting that I've been doing for a few months really has made a difference in my life. I listened to Diane Par Parham and she is intermittent fasting for women over 50. I listened to Jen Stevens, although I haven't listened to her for a while. I've kind of been binging on the Dr. Westman new book. And um, who else has a new book? Somebody else has a new book. Um, my attention span is that of a gnat. Ooh, I'm a poet and don't know it. And so I tend to like interviews more than I do reading something. Um, most days it's the same old, same old for my OMAD, which I eat between two and three. I love, um, I love it when I find some sort of new little product on the market that seems to work. One of the things I've been enjoying is this, um, it's marbled Colby Jack. I think it's a very flat round, like a tortilla, um, cheese slice, one ounce, and, um, basically... It's how to do a tortilla with the cheese, the round cheese thing. But I like to put it on top of my eggs, and it's delicious. Yesterday, I made a keto stew with cauliflower crumbles, leftover ribeye. Oh, yes, with that smoked flavor from the grill. And um, some carrots and some white onions, more for Greg than for me. And like a maybe tablespoon of um, marinara sauce, Victoria's, and that was in the crock pot for six hours. It's going to be had tomorrow, but can't wait to. I love to do things with leftovers. Throwing them in the crock pot is my idea of how to handle leftover um, beef, and uh, I, did, I started doing it with the prime rib at Thanksgiving, and now it's with the ribeye that we have on Sunday from the Big Green Egg. Delish! Don't you know? So um, as I record this, or is it tape this? Whichever one is the most current, right? Um, there's a sugar summit going on with interviews. Dr. Uh, Mark Harmon has a longevity series as well. I am recording this in January. I like to get a little ahead of the game so I don't have that pressure of, you have to do a video. I try to do videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and um, then sometimes there's a surprise Saturday one. Sometimes there's a rabbit rabbit the first of the month one if it doesn't fall on those days. And so I just like to do a little hi, how are you? How are you? How's it going for you um, every day? I'm 70 years old, and I live on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It's been an interesting run. It's been almost a year of the pandemic, the lockdown, the restrictions. We're in one of those um, places that just won't quit with the new cases. 
and hospitalizations and all of that. <clears throat> I make, well, Greg is the biggest supporter of me, but I make um, a partial living now doing Instacart. I'm currently in Instacart hell because somebody gave me, a couple of people gave me a low rating. And um, because clearly it's my fault for having out of stock items. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I'm on an Instacart blog where I get a lot of support as the others do from other Instacart shoppers. Um, it's, it's not a great place to work for or not, not a great company to work for. And, and so there's a lot of stress involved and I don't like mental stress. I like, you know, helping people get their groceries. And I love people that understand that there's a pandemic and there's a grocery inventory shortage. Sometimes the produce, you know, isn't all there. Sometimes other things aren't all there. So it's all about food. I wake up thinking about food. I do food all day. When I get up, I get up between 3 and 3.30 in the morning. I know that's crazy to some of you, but it's totally normal to me. And that's when I do, I prep my salad for the day, which is basically big hunks of veggies. And I take two and a half ounces of Faye, 0% plain yogurt, and mix that with one tablespoon of Bragg's um, vinaigrette dressing and marinade. That's the dressing. And I have that for dinner Monday through Friday, along with something on the side, which will be the keto stew beef stew leftovers tomorrow. Today it's spaghetti squash with 80-20 burger. And so I do those sort of sort of things. They just work. I guess you could call me a volume eater. I like um I like to feel full, not stuffed, but the veggies make me feel full when I finish my meal. And um it just it's just a little pattern of eating and what I eat that just continues to work for me. And I hope that you find your groove with what works for you as well. I know that this has been months and months of sometimes derailment from our program. I know that somebody here asked me to talk about oxalate dumping since I've added veggies back into my food program. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, I'm not having any you know, bathroom experiences that are like, um, you better get there quick type of things, which to me, I felt were oxalate dumpings. Um, for some people, it's the veggie thing. And I know that once I started listening to Sally Fallon, I think it was, and then um, a lovely British doctor who talks a lot about oxalates as well, um, that spinach was definitely very high in oxalates. I don't know enough about them. I'm not an expert in them, but I feel that um, when I gave them up, when I became carnivore, that um, my body went through a lot of changes with the metabolism going from, you know, um, a regular keto veggie uh, protein fat um, diet to all meat that perhaps there was some oxalate dumping. I don't know. If you're interested in oxalate dumping, I definitely tell you, I would definitely tell you to search in the YouTube above for oxalate dumping, and you will find many, many, many videos about it and, um, and see how your body responds and if it's responding. But I guess the, the query was, do I find oxalate dumping to be more pronounced now that I'm having definitely, you know, I'm veggie heavy because I like, I'm a volume eater and no, my gut hasn't shown any distress at all. In fact, it shows me that it kind of likes all those veggies and it responds well. I don't have any, um, any gut metabolism issues, I don't think from it. Um, I know that I did when I was carnivore, there were some unpleasant moments and um, ranging from constipation to the opposite. And so, but now, I don't know, I've just settled into my big salad and then the side 
entree, which could be, you know, spaghetti squash with the meat, meat sauce, um, beef stew, a piece of steak, a pork chop um, smoked on the big green egg and then finished in the air fryer, spare ribs, chicken thighs, um, and then I love my little um, uh, cauliflower and Brussels sprouts and asparagus with the piece of protein on top of that kind of, you know, slowly heated up in the oven um, on the side. With ghee, I put like a tablespoon of ghee into a lot of things. It just makes everything taste better, like today with the spaghetti squash and the Victoria's spaghetti sauce. I will have like a tablespoon of ghee in that in my spaghetti squash and um, my, ver my version of Italian, don't you know? So I continue to just enjoy what I enjoy. Do I count calories or macros? Well, I keep score of them. I put everything into my chronometer. I'm a little more loose than I was before. I kind of just do thereabouts. Like if I cook a steak or if Greg cooks the steak on the big green egg, you know, it might have been around a pound raw from the uh, Brazilian butcher, but then we cook it and then there's usually the part that's left over, like about that. And so I eat maybe maximum 10 ounces of the beef. Then that's saved. And like I said, I make that keto stew out of it with the leftover ribeye that Greg and I don't finish. So, you know, my, my protein is between four and like I said, the 10 ounces of uh, protein. I know that, um, you know, there's protein in the Faye yogurt, which I like. So I try to get enough protein. Um, I know that I, I'm anemic, according to my nurse practitioner and my labs. So I take um, Nature's Promise from Stop and Shop multivitamin that's got 100% of the iron in it that she said I need to get. She felt it was a dietary thing. I drink four 20 ounce glasses of water every day. And um, I usually have 40 ounces before I leave to do my uh, day in the morning. I work until around noon every day. I start as soon as I can get an order from Instacart, which is usually around seven. And um, and so I'll do, you know, the four or five hours of that every morning. I like to be busy. I consider Instacart my exercise. And, um, and so lately, uh, I've been working on some of my um, food, foods that aren't keto. And I've been um, kind of integrating them a little bit. I know that Tammy from Keto in the Chaos does it. I know that Diane Harham does it as well, that um, I know that Tammy has more than one meal a day, but Diane and I were both older than her, and we have the OMAD with the clean intermittent fasting. So there's only black coffee and plain water, no flavored coffee, no flavored waters during the intermittent fasting part of the day. And then the feast is the OMAD that I have between two and three. I don't know why it's made such a big difference, but it has. And um, I fell into Jen Stevens' um, videos about it and, um, and then Diane, and it just helps me so much. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know why my metabolism is responding so fav um, positively to it, but it is. And so I've been able to um, maintain my my lowest weight um, that I'm at now. And so I've, I've kind of been working on things like Diane talks about it as well, having non-keto foods, um, treats as it were, some things with sugar or sugar alternatives, as well as things like <gasps> a white potato. Yeah. Um, so anyway, whatever I'm doing right now works. Uh, I encourage you to find what works for you so you're not in deprivation mode. Lord knows that we've had enough deprivation this last year. So if you are able to work on something that heretofore wasn't 
working for you might have caused binges or overeating and then you get to a certain place where maybe your your metabolism has done a reset maybe you did carnivore to do that like i did um i don't know the healing but i, I feel the most <laughs> normal with my food choices that i've ever felt in all my life and i'm 70 now so almost 70 and a half so it's a day at a time it's figuring out things a day at a time and um like you you know it's always just like how's it going um keeping the good habits and working on the ones that need a replacement it's just life on life's terms and food on food's terms and paying really uh, good attention to what i put in my body and how my body responds some things i've tried and it's like mm, not going to go there anymore and then other things <clears throat> work it's a go figure and i hope your go figures work out for you too and you share them here with us because we're all different we're all the snowflakes but um we always like to hear what works for people doing keto and then kind of branching out in some layers of normal eating <laughs> whatever that is well i'm so glad you're here this has been Sarah with her old bones and metabolism. And um, I couldn't do this without you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.